small demo, which is again about the DM2 control surface. Last time I showed you how the DM2 with the Linux driver works together with Mix to give you the fullest possible control over your music. Today will be all about Sinalera. Sinalera is an advanced nonlinear editor for Linux with unique flexibility and very high performance. Up to now, Sinalera can only be controlled with the keyboard and the mouse, and that may be okay for most tasks. But looking at my DM2, I thought it may be a worthwhile attempt to teach Sinalera about MIDI so you can use those nice big jog wheels to scroll through your assets and the final cut. So to fill this gap, I wrote a patch to Sinalera which adds basic MIDI input capabilities to the interface. The patch is still very experimental because many of Sinalera's functions need to be especially prepared to work properly outside of their usual keyboard and mouse context. But some of the functions are fairly easy to transport to the new input method, so I started out with those. Let's take for instance the usual workflow, that is to say my usual workflow with Sinalera, when putting together a small video. First, I need to skim through my assets to find interesting material. Here we have some footage that I filmed on a cloudy day in a zoo. Um, it's less than fascinating, but enough for a small example. With the patched version of Sinalera, I can scroll through my assets, pick one into the viewer window, and use the same scroll wheel to shuffle through the clip. I have mapped two buttons on the DM2 to place the in point and the out point, and another one to splice the selected portion into the main timeline. With these functions, I can put together a basic edit fairly quickly. To preview the final cut, I use the right turntable. With it, I can scroll through the main timeline or use the center button to play and pause. To insert new footage at a cut point, I press the center button and use the right turntable to make the cursor in the main timeline jump from edit point to edit point. Using the left turntable again, I use the in point, out point and splice functions to insert new footage at the cursor position where I left it before. This very basic example shows how much fun video editing can become when you combine Cinelera with a control surface like the DM2. The patch will eventually accommodate different control surfaces, so you may not be forced to use this one. But I can recommend the DM2 very much. I wrote the driver, so I have to. <laughs> but right now, uh, there is no GUI. Uh, you get a lot of debugging output. The patch is far from stable. You can reconfigure nothing. Um, and, uh, well, the patch is far from finished. But if you feel adventurous, if you're a developer or a masochist, um, stay tuned, read the Sinelera mailing list and uh, try out the patch. Um, you're welcome to give me feedback, to flame me or whatever you like. Um, I'll answer or perhaps I won't, but uh, generally I'm a quite helpful guy. So keep me posted. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this and uh, stay tuned for more of the same. Till next time.